Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Happy Sunday morning. Happy Hanukkah to those of you who are still celebrating that particular holiday. Uh, Happy New Year coming up real soon. How's it going, guys? I see, I see a few names I recognize out there in chat land. Kyle Maguile. Nice. I like that. Uh, so, I, I don't want to take up a whole lot of time this morning um, before we get into the gaming because I got I to gotta bounce out of here at noon, so it's going to be kind of a short stream today, but I wanted to get on here because I said I would. Uh, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and do a stream again tomorrow, um, looking at my calendar, uh, just because we're, we're almost out of the holiday season, and you look different, and I just realized no glasses, they're right here, I can't, if I, if I wear them and look at the camera, you can't see my eyes because the light, so... I'll put them on when I start playing the game. Um, <laughs> hey, Hacker Clan, I'm watching while playing Ring Fit Adventure. Nice. That's that's fun. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna um, I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna stream again tomorrow, probably around four o'clock p.m. Pacific. That's my plan. Um, and uh, it's because we're we're coming up on. The holiday season is coming to a close shortly, which means work is going to be picking up in a big way to start the year. I've got a writing gig that uh, is going to be, at the very least, fairly demanding of my schedule. And I have volunteered for more because it's a cool project, and so I might end up, uh, I might end up taking on a whole lot with that one, so... I hate all that crap on Kyle's wall. It used to fall on me while I slept. <laughs> yeah. That's because you kept using the fan in here, Dustin. And it's... There's... These things are padded. So there's not much to hold them in place. <laughs> it wasn't hot in November. You weirdo. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's Dustin. Shout out to him. We played some board games that... We played a board game that he made and a board game that I made on Tabletop Simulator on the stream yesterday. Um, and then uh, and then on January 3rd, January 2nd I leave, but January 3rd I will be at Tayucon in Mesa, Arizona. So uh, January 3rd through 5th. So see, see you guys there uh, if you are in the Phoenix, Arizona area, or Mesa, Arizona area. It's the same thing, basically. 15 minute difference. Anyway, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to jump straight into some near. Did I have anything else I wanted to cover? Oh, check out Carol and Tuesday on Netflix. I don't think I talked about this last stream because I think it was before Christmas. Was it? Maybe it was after. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, a friend likes to point you out whenever he hears you in something, but he keeps pronouncing your name as McCleary. Should I correct him? It's been a couple years since he started doing it. That That's up to you, gentlemen, Jolt. Um, anyway, uh, so I, uh, 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 yeah, Carol and Tuesday, see the, the part two, not season two, part two of, of the one season is on Netflix now. It's, it's another set of 12 episodes. There were there was a chunk of twelve episodes that came out in October or November. October. It was October. Um, and uh, I played Tao in that show. Uh, so the first twelve episodes were out in October. But then, unbeknownst to everybody else, because I I mean I mean I I was talking about how I was working on a directing project, but I couldn't say what it was. I was I directed the second 12 episodes of Carol and Tuesday, which is now on Netflix as of December 24th. Uh, Erica Mendez, who wrote and directed the first half, kind of decided that doing both was too much for her. So she decided to step down from the directing gig because she wanted to keep writing the show. So I uh, I took over as the director and she stayed on as writer. Uh, I had a lot of fun. The second 
half of the show gets really meaningful, I feel like. It's it's got a message to to share. It, it kind of, over those 12 episodes, goes from this cute music show about a couple of girls that are, that, that sing music in, on Mars, uh, to, to having a, a message and, and really tugging at the heartstrings a few times. Uh, so I, I, I really highly recommend uh, Carol and Tuesday. Go check that out on Netflix. But not right now, because right now we're going to play Near. That's a segue. Boop a doo. Oh no, not stop. Stop with the I thought I I thought I got past the the opening cinematic full of spoilers. Yes, Tao, T A O, Wind Waker Forever. Thank you. All right. I do want to load the save data. Please do that. So, when last we left off, we saw the kid pull his brother's arm off. And, uh, I think we were working on trying to find some iron something. Ooh, I forgot that that was a thing. Look at that. Um, I was looking for quests. There they are, quests. Incomplete quests. What's this one? We need sardines. I don't remember that one. When did we pick that up? I'm supposed to kill a shade that's not always there. I'm looking for memory alloy and titanium alloy. And what is this one? I collected the materials, bring them back to the strange thing store. Oh, I already have the iron. Cool. Okay, so we're done with that quest. But I think we're supposed to... Oh, the Fisherman's Gambit is a carryover. Oh, okay. From, from Route A, I guess. Ha! Should I... Guys, should I move forward with the, the main story here and go, go, keep going towards the X? Or should I... What is this? Why is there a little hut with an elevator? That doesn't move. Move, Emil. Get out of my way. Huh. Um. What was I asking? Oh, I, I wanted to know if I should continue on with the main story right now. Or if I should double back and go work on the side quests. And head all the way back. I'm, I'm thinking I should keep moving with the main story. And continue on the... The side quests. As as we get there. Ooh. The junk heap, which I'm sure you remember, can be a bit lengthy. I don't really remember. Um, Am I going to be able to get through it in two hours? Because I got I to bounce out of here pretty quick. This is a short... This is a short stream today. If I can't, if I can't get through the junk heap. I'm gonna have to go back and do side quests. Actually, no, there's, there's probably a save point inside the junk heap, right? Let's do it. Let's move forward. If there's not, I'm doing the, I'm doing the, the, the. Shame about the older lad. He was but a child at best. He died protecting the only family he had left. Uh, if there's not a save point in the middle here, I will, uh, just keep the thing on pause and stream- I'm streaming tomorrow anyway, so. Won't be a big deal. Whoa! 
Wa. Wa. I hear Caitlin doing her morning sneezing. The door is broken and won't open. Bless you. Which way am I going? Well, thank you, Bunny Tails. I appreciate that. Thanks again for the other night. I finished Near Automata last night. Amazing job. Do you love the game? Well, thank you. Near did it not look like Near was gripping the ladder as he was going up. This door is also broken. Oh, right. I have a brick. A big block. Whoa. Why did that happen? It might have given me the alloy? Already? Why would that have happened? No. It did not. Why can't I jump up there? Did I not finish pushing this thing up to the wall? What the? No, I didn't, but it won't go forward any further. I'm very confused. I need to move it into the middle of the path. Emil, move! Oh, I can do a double jump, that's right! Thank you, I keep forgetting that that's a mechanic in this game. Except my spear can destroy everything in one shot. Oh, I have to farm all of this stuff, don't I? Whoop. Okay. Shoot them! Wasn't there a target locking system in this game? What's that button? How's it going, Lirene? Welcome to the show. Picking up broken motors and severed cables. I'm not getting any alloy, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the Discord is, yeah, it's, it's open to everybody. The only thing you get for subscribing to the channel is is some some emotes and when I remember to do it, uh, discounts on the merch store. Um, and there's supposed to be an exclusive piece of merch on the merch shop, but Teespring has been really bad with their tech support on that. Huh? Do not shoot me. So, uh, I mean, I, I, I kind of, I don't do this for the money, you know? The Twitch, the Twitch streaming isn't because I'm trying to extort money from you guys. I like, I mean, I, I appreciate the support of the subscribers. I like having that option there. Um. Crowley, leave the cat alone. God. Uh, but, uh. But the subscriptions, I mean, it's, I, I don't, I don't ever want to lock any anybody behind a paywall. Basically, is, is kind of what I'm saying.
there's this one mandatory side quest where you have to get a certain item from the little guys, though, so not a big waste of killing them now. Oh, so I'm not supposed to be killing these guys yet? It seems we have been shut in. I bet I can unlock the door by killing these! Don't I get the the alloy, the titanium alloy I'm looking for by killing these things? Or is that only if I kill the big ones? I get it for... That's the memory alloy. What about the titanium alloy? Because I need that too. See? I need 10 titanium alloy in addition to the one memory alloy. So I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta fight stuff to get those, don't I? It seems we have been shut in. I should put on my glasses so I can see the game a little better. hi -ya! Hey, I got a titanium alloy. Boom. Nine more to go. I can't, I cannot aim. It's melee combat and I can't aim. Ah! Hey, come back here. Let me poke you with my stick. My sharp stick. Uh, done? Done. Oh, oh, two for one. And I got more titanium alloy. Boom. I'll poke them with my stick. Oh boy. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. The nice thing is you keep your levels over playthrough, so you end up just one-shotting these things and it makes it less painful. That is a fact. The... the first... Um... The first time through... This was a pain. I'm... I'm confused about what you're saying there, Jopsa. Yes, the focus right now is farming, I think. I think I'm just working on getting the, the, the alloys I need. Wait, what? I'm back. Did I go in a circle? Is this back where I started? Um, yeah, I think, I think all I'm supposed to be doing right now is getting alloys. But, uh... You're saying increase the drop rate, and I don't think that's my... I don't think there's a way for me to control that. On your last run, you can basically finish everything in half an hour. It's great. I did go backwards. I thought so. Wait. What? Which way is new? Oh, I'm so turned around. There's a word system you can add to weapons to increase your drop rate. Really? All right, we're gonna have to remind me of how I do that. Word edit. Uh, weapons, right? I don't know what weapon I'm using. Oh, I'm using Phoenix Spear. And I have no words on it. That's cool. Or do I? 
Oh no, I just had I just had attack power or something. But I don't know where None of these are giving me an option to increase drop rate. Let me look at all. I don't know how this works. It's probably, oh, it's on the second one. Item drop rate, there it is, okay, okay. I should probably also set something on the rest of this while I'm at it. Uh, okay. That's magic. Now weapons. What weapon am I using? This one. Let's get big time attack power and... Drop rate. Martial arts. Defend. Give me... Oh, I don't know. Physical strength. Knockback resistance. Let's do knockback resistance. Why not? And drop rate. Oh, wait, I can't, can I? Lame. I can only do that on the other things. Well. Uh, let's also have... I like magic defense. <clears throat> None of these are doing anything. What's this one? Evade versus defend. Oh, this is what I'm actually going to use. <laughs> I don't, I don't use the block button at all. Sure, we'll do physical strength. And physical defense this time. Yeah. All right. Now I have words equipped. Blocking is OP. I don't even remember the button for it. Oh, there it is. It's that one. I found it. Am I going... Am I leaving right now? No, this is... Okay. Choose a destination. Is that the floor I'm on? I am going to the concert, the near concert in L.A. I'm excited. Ah! This door is broken and won't open. That seems redundant. This door is broken and won't open. God East Coast, please. Uh, it's happening in Chicago. I guess that's not East Coast, but it's east of here. <laughs> Have I been here before? What? What's the point of this room? I don't know why I came to this floor. Chicago's so far away from you. Well, I'm sorry. You could go to London, but that's even further. <laughs> uh, okie dokie. 
That's faster than using the ladder. I am so turned around. Is there a map? There is! That's useful. All right, so I came in through that door in the bottom right. I went through there. I went on there. I just came from over there. I feel like I've done all this, haven't I? What am I missing? The door is broken and won't open. Did I come down this way already? I did. I'm so confused. Technically speaking, I have, yeah, I know, I know. I mean, I meant today. <laughs> the factory sure is an area. That, that reminds me of, <laughs> I saw a tweet about cats the the movie musical that just came out where somebody was like cats is undoubtedly a film <laughs> with a production team cinematography it is definitely one of the films of 2019 <laughs> Okay, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed- Oh wait, I see- Do I see faded out, like, areas that I haven't been to on this map? Is that what I see there? I'm so confused. Okay, let's go this way. I have not seen cats. I- I saw I saw the the Broadway show when I was 12 I think and I hated it. It was awful. And based on everything I'm hearing about the movie, it lives up to that. <laughs> uh universal and an unprecedented move have sent an update of the movie to movie theaters. They patched the movie after the fact, uh, and, and they, uh, they have pulled it from their For Your Consideration page. Hey, I found, okay. I found a place I haven't been yet. So they're no longer, like, they originally thought it was going to be up for some awards, and based on the reception they've gotten, they're like, we're just going to quietly retract that. Aww. We found the cave-in. Hello, I was subscribed to you. My name, nickname is Lover94. It's very nice to meet someone who gave 9S voice from Nier Automata. I went through three times. Nice to meet, nice to meet you too. <clears throat> anyway, I'm sorry to get us on the, the sidetrack thought of how near I mean, how, uh, how Cats was. <laughs> if I get back here and sh smack this thing, it dies. All right, good. It seems we have been shut in. I forgot about Vice constantly saying that. Hiya! I give her a ha, and a ya, and a hi-ya. 
What the? Why did that happen? And I keek her, sir. Hey, hit him. Thank you. Come back here. <laughs> Cats, it isn't that bad if you go in assuming it will be terrible. <laughs> Uh, this is a bigger map. Okay. <clears throat> There's a big room in the top left. I bet that's where I fight that boss thing that's gonna give me the titanium alloy. Let's go get it. Oh, but the door's broken. That's the wrong door. I wanted to go this way, and I can't. How do I get through there, then? All right. I'll get in the mine cart. This is my least favorite part of Donkey Kong. Those levels are so hard. <clears throat> I I played just a teensy tiny bit of <clears throat> oh. Here's where the block comes in handy. I can't shoot while I'm blocking. Uh I could just I could just sit here and do this all the way through. Um over over the Christmas holiday, uh our nephew got a Nintendo Switch and one of the games he was given, which was probably a poor choice for an 8-year-old, was uh Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So, I played just a teensy tiny bit of it, and one thing that I really appreciate about it is the fact that uh, they've, they've changed the multiplayer from back when I was a kid. Ow, don't you shock me. I don't appreciate that. Uh, so now it's, it's not turn-based, it's like, it's simultaneous. So if you play two player, you get to control Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong at the same time. Which I thought that I thought that was kind of nice. Other than that, I feel like the new ah! Don't you shock me. Don't you shock me. Hi Crowley. How you doing, bud? Oh. That was nerve-wracking. Hey, bud. Are you trying to jump up here? Come here. Come here. You can come say hi to everybody. Oh, I'm being shocked. Ow. Don't do that. I tried to take a tumble out of the back of the mine cart. No, no, not Doom, Professor. I, I just, I just feel like... I, I, I don't know. The kid has only ever played, like, tablet games and stuff. Door's broken. Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay. Uh, so, he's not used to the, the skill level required for platformers. He needs... He needs some new... Some intro level stuff. We got him... Just Dance and, uh... And Let's Go Pikachu. Which, there's a lot of reading in, but I think that's good for him. Uh-oh. Surprise, surprise. It seems we have been shut in. Oh, is this the mini-boss fight that gets me the... Yeah, it is. I remember this. I remember not, not caring for it at all. Ow. Ah, don't do that to me, you mean person. Vice... I need you to shoot him. Oh, come on. I jumped over it. I'll just I'll just block while facing the wrong direction. I'm going to let Vice kill this guy. <laughs> I got the memory alloy. Huh.
and a titanium alloy. Oh, and there's there's little dudes to fight. I leveled up. I forgot there was a level system. All right. So Dungon did that. I've been here for 30 seconds and there's already like nine potential 9S sound bites. All right. Hey, no. Do not. Do not bite the cat. I don't appreciate that. It seems we have been shut in. What's happening? Oh, hey, there's dudes flying in from the sky. Ow. Ow. I got them all. Huh. <clears throat> I got a whole bunch of nothing from that. This one's got a red light. I bet that means the door's broken and won't open. I called it. <laughs> we'll go this way. Hey, it's James! How's it going, man? I haven't seen you in forever, dude. That's my question, Professor Fries. What is the point of all the doors? If they're all broken. Also, <clears throat> some of them are in places that there clearly cannot be a door. I don't know if you've noticed that, but there are, there are a couple doors on the first level where it's like, where would that go? Weren't we just on the other side of this wall where there was nothing? <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> Emil says a remaster for the 10th anniversary is possible since they, yeah, they, um, Square just, uh, just got a trademark on the name Near alone, which doesn't in it, in and of itself mean anything. Um, it's just, it's just that previously they had, they had trademarks on Near Gestalt, Near Replicant, and Near Automata, but they never had a, a trademark on just the name near um so it doesn't necessarily mean that they're planning anything specific but it does mean that they obviously they care about the franchise if they're if they're gonna bother to go trademark something new related to it ready for Yokotaro's sequel to automata he's already He's almost ready to announce. That's new to me. News to me. First floor. I don't want to go back to the first floor. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Hold on. I didn't go down. I went straight up. Ah! Ow! You... Oh, you dick. A remake of Nier with Automata Combat sounds like a dream. It does, doesn't it? That would be so cool to have Platinum do a remaster of original Nier. Yoko Taro is announcing something sometime, but we don't know what it is. Well, that, that, that barely means anything, does it? Like, we know he's not done making games. <laughs>
Uh, okay, I guess I'm supposed to go back to the first floor. I'm just gonna do somersaults up the stairs. <laughs> I don't think I actually move faster doing somersaults, but I feel like I do. Game mechanics. Gamer logic. It'd be nice to meet you and Kira someday. Well, we're both gonna be at Tyocon in Mesa, Arizona, NSM. No idea if that's where you're from, but uh, that's where we're gonna be this coming, this coming weekend, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's coming up real soon. Hey, I found the save point in the middle of the factory. It didn't take very long to, I thought this was way more trouble than this last time. <clears throat> um, I'm also, I don't think Kira's going, but, uh, Caitlin and I are gonna be at, um, Teco Con in Pittsburgh later this year. I feel like I've got some other ones lined up, too, but I, I don't remember what's been announced or what I'm actually, I barely remember where I am right now, let alone... I, d I don't even know what day it is. It's, it's, it's the holidays. I get confused. Was I supposed to go down that hole? I found another elevator. And this, this takes me back out. It was, yeah, I know it was more trouble last time because I wasn't one-shotting everything. <laughs> Greetings, Professor. Hey, Silver, thanks for sticking around, Hacker Clan, for the four-month strength streak. Silver says, ta-da! <laughs> okay, ready? What's a ship? A large seagoing vessel that carries freight and passengers over bodies of water. Oh, this is the robot I just fought! Yay, you're so great, Beepy. You've learned so much. You have taught me much, Kaguya. You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. Well, there's tons of stuff I don't know either. Maybe we should leave here and go explore the world. Because we <clears throat> oh, I didn't fight BP yet. Okay. That's right. Yay, it's going to be fun. How often do I chat with Kira and other near automata uh, actors? Uh, Kira and I are good friends. Thanks in large part to working on Nier and, and, and our love of, our shared love of Nier. Um, oh, that's what that elevator was for. To come out up here. Ha ha. So I gotta go back in, right? Like I'm, I'm not done. Hold on. How am I doing on my titanium alloy? Uh, so, so Kira and I talk a fair amount. We don't we don't get together as often as we as we used to. Um, but we're both part of the leadership committee for uh, CODA, Coalition of Dubbing Actors, which is a group of actors that are that are working to improve working conditions for um, for those of us who work in the dubbing industry and, and uh, go to the brother first for that sword, I think. I already have the sword. All right, I'll go back out. Um, <clears throat> uh, and then, uh, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, I see, I see Kira a fair amount. <clears throat> I've gotten to know Sheremy, uh, a little bit in, uh, in the year, in the, in the, 
the three years since we did Nier. Um, I didn't know her at all back then, but I've, I've gotten to know her a little bit. Um, hold on just a second. That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. I won't charge you for it either, since you helped me out. <clears throat> the game is very quiet compared to Kyle. Huh. Well, I guess I could do this. It might help a little bit. Well, actually, this is going to take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That'd be great. That's my Jameson Price impression. I've met Jameson um, since, since these days. Granted, he wasn't in Automata. Hmm, it seems we have some free time on our hands. Uh, well, what next? Do we head for the Forest of Myth or go speak with Popola? <clears throat> Not Forest of Myth? That's reading. Well, I, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that today. Okay. I feel like I need to keep farming for more, um, titanium alloy, don't I? Maybe Popola has some new information. Let's go see her. Very well. But first, uh, I'm going to keep farming. <clears throat> I read Popola as Poopla. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, uh, it's, it's so back on the subject of near actor, near automata actors that I know. Uh, Greg Chun, I know relatively well. Ray Chase and I went to USC together. Um, but I mean, all of these people I, I, I talk to because we because we work on stuff. Uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we work together, because we kind of don't, at least in the dubbing industry, and, and even the video game industry, it's mostly working, um, with engineers and directors and not other actors, uh, but I, I, I mean, because we work in the same industry we do see each other we get to know each other going to conventions mostly why does that keep happening um i must be bumping a button or something uh who else from the cast do i know oh cassandra i see a fair amount she was uh operator 60 um I think that's that's it. Erica Lindbeck, I'm very good friends with. Uh, she was Anemone in Near Automata. Ah! Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of time left today, guys. So I'm I'm just gonna try and farm my titanium alloy, cash out that quest, and then maybe we'll go talk to Popola. Um, but we'll we'll continue the game tomorrow at 4 and uh, 4 Pacific and, and plan on uh, doing the Forest of Myth then. Appreciate you guys looking out for me and, and warning me on that front. Cause yeah, there'd there'd be no once once we get into the the audiobooks, there's no stopping <laughs> the audiobook gameplay. Which I gotta be honest, I, I feel like it makes for great Twitch content for a voice actor doing the 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 all the reading in this game. But I feel like from a game design at a standpoint, it probably would have been a more engaging game to play if all of the reading had been 
Because there's a lot of reading in this game. There's a little bit in Automata. There's a lot in this one. Um, and it really does, like, it's great story. But I feel like it, the storytelling and, and the gameplay would have been much more engaging if there was a way to play through that content instead of just read it. But yeah, the music does absolutely influence the reading. Like I said, it's it's great stream content. I gotta shut this door. Robot vacuum is cleaning the house and it's gonna make noises. Um, it seems we have been shut in. Come on, give me more titanium alloy. I feel like I haven't I done this quest once before too. Like, do I do I have to do all the side quests over again? It's not like Automata where once you've done the side quest, it's done. Regardless of what playthrough you're on. It seems we have been Shut in. I would have loved to have reprised 9S for the Final Fantasy raid. But, uh, yeah. Sadly, that opportunity did not come through. Um. <clears throat> not my call, though. That was a decision made by Japan, uh, by, by Square. Um, I, th I'm thinking about, uh, I, I hesitate to say this out loud, <laughs> especially when I'm on the holiday break and everything, I feel like I have so much more time on my hands than I really do, but I am thinking about picking up a subscription to final after after we're done with original near obviously thinking about picking up a subscription to final fantasy 14 and find uh it, it just rush my way as quickly as i can to the near content and stream that There's a thing, but I can't... Why can't I pick it up? Oh, because it was in the air. Speaking of audiobooks, do you have any upcoming projects? Not necessarily what they are, just if they exist. Well, I'm, I'm always working on something, but I haven't... I have not done audiobooks professionally in uh, about th three... Two, two years now, I think. Two years? Maybe just a year and a half. I can't remember. Uh, I quit. I quit doing audiobooks because it's it's a lot of work for comparatively little money compared to the the other niches of the voiceover industry that I'm working in. Um, and honestly, really, like some audiobooks are great. Some of them are terrible. The vast majority are kind of just okay. And for the amount of work that's involved, uh, just okay. It just really doesn't do it for me. Doesn't 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 get my creative juices. The the fulfillment that I want. This broadcast today, lover ninety four, is only gonna go for another hour or so. Aqua Painter, with a big resub for thirty three consecutive months. Can't believe how long I've been subbed. Had to miss a few streams to avoid spoilers for some games. And because my work life is crazy nowadays, but it's great to be back around for near again. Great to have you around, Aqua Painter. Did you change your name? Because I don't remember the name Aqua Painter, and you've been subscribed for 33 months. Maybe it's just been that long since our schedules have coincided. I am lost again. Why does this friggin' happen? There's something wrong with my follower notifications. 
that window is busted. I didn't. I was mostly here for Automata and Fire Emblem Echoes, and then life got crazy, but I knew I'd be back one day. So you just kept the subscription going. Well, I really appreciate that, Aqua Painter. Ah, there's one more. Hit it. Ow, really? I, I killed the thing. Why did it still shock me after it was dead? See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. There's a door right here. We can see the other side of, can't we? Or maybe that's, maybe that's on the other side of that wall back there. It just, it looks like that's a door that goes nowhere. So why bother having a broken door there at all? <laughs> all right. I don't get shut in here. So there's nothing on this floor for me whatsoever. Um, in terms of stuff that I can talk about, um, I think I can safely say, since the cast was announced forever and ever ago, that we are back to work finally on Mr. Osamatsu. Um, I still have no idea when, what the distribution plan is, if there is one yet, once that dub is, is finished, but we've, we've finished, uh, we finished 12 episodes quite a while ago, and, uh, and we're back to work on more, working on finishing up the first season, and I don't know if, um, I don't know, I don't know what the plan is once we're done, but we're, we're back to work and we're working hard on it, which is great, because we, we took a long break from it, and I was starting to get worried. So that's something I can talk about. Uh, what else can I talk about? Let's see. What else can I say that I'm working on? Uh, stuff that's under non-disclosure agreements and stuff. Oh yeah, this is the, the level of the... How many times am I going to have to go through this friggin' junk heap to to get all of the titan I think I've gotten one this time through Emil just beat James in a fight Hey James you remember the penis leap <laughs> It seems we have been shut in. For those who don't know, Hamez found in the chat used to be my roommate. Back when back when we were <laughs> playing this game on the first playthrough three years ago, um, or two and a, two and two and more than a half years ago. Oh come on! What's the what's the question? Okie dokie. I missed I missed the first part. Something about would that be scraping against the NDA too much as well? I I don't know what we're what we saying. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a bomb! Don't pick it up. Oh, that's to that's to break my way out of here. Oh, okay. Well, I broke through the broken wall, so at least there's that. How about how many projects? Oh, pfft. I, I mean, ones that might be of interest to you guys. Uh, <laughs> if you're into anime, I am gonna be writing an anime, or... Uh, uh, 
doing a script adaptation for an anime that's really exciting. Uh, starting up very soon. Um, I'm uh, the lead in a Netflix anime dub that's coming up. I, I actually don't know the release date on it, but uh, I we finished recording on that uh, around about Thanksgiving time. Um, what else? I don't know. The bulk of my work is honestly dubbing uh, live action dubs and, and stuff and like little ancillary roles in in uh, in anime series that, that people don't like the bulk of my work you guys don't care about so I'm, I'm attached to at any given point in time I'm working on probably 12 different things but it's just it's just not of interest <laughs> to, to most people I feel like this hallway just keeps going this is all I missed all of this the first time through it seems we have been shut in. I fell in a hole and it it kicked me back out. Ooh, that's that's amber. That's not that's not what I was looking for. Is that for something else? Why was it yellow? What do I need amber for? Why does it say I don't have the memory alloy anymore? What? I had that. Where did it go? I gave it to Gideon. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> I needed it for the main story too. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go fight that robot again. I guess that's not a big deal. It didn't take long the first time. Huh. Eh. Um. Somebody asked where do most of my live action dub dubs come from? What country? They come from all over the place. Netflix is buying up content from all over the world. Uh, I've worked on stuff from France, from Germany, from Spain, from Italy, from uh, from uh, Brazil. Um Argentina A lot of stuff that's in that originates in Spanish um Korea, Japan, obviously all over the place. And I do, I, I also do script adaptation. Uh, I don't like to do it for live action because it's hard because I feel like our industry places way too much. We, we take way, we get way too painstaking about trying to make the mouth look like it is actually saying the words that the actors are saying, that the, the dubbing actors are saying. Um, and it's never gonna be an exact match. So I don't know why we try so hard. Especially because oftentimes it leads to writers writing words that don't sound natural. And I feel like that is, that should be more, we should, we should be prioritizing that more. Yeah, animation is way easier for dubbing in terms of matching uh, the the mouth shapes even even if the animation is like CG with actual mouth shapes it's easier to match that than it is an actual person's mouth it seems we have been shut in because honestly an animated character the mouth moves in ways that that human mouths don't really the mouths move a lot more in animation so, 
when when someone is act is actually saying something, their mouth moves in a way that doesn't look like that. So trying to write for dubbing live action is tough uh, because you're trying to put words into a mouth that doesn't even look like it's actually saying the words it's actually saying, let alone the words you're trying to make it say. <laughs> Where is all the titanium alloy? I got machine oil. I remember that being important once upon a time. What is this boss fight? Is this beepy? This isn't beepy. No, way too easy. Ow. They're probably all way too easy. I got my titanium alloy back, though. Just the same kind of model. Linda Von Rhee is here to bully me. Dustin says, stop dying. I haven't died once. I fell over one time while you were looking at the screen. <laughs> How do I blow up that thing? I need, I need a bomb. Where do the bombs come from? What's that? Oh, there's a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why didn't I pick that up? Oh, because I have too much of it. Because I've been farming... This room for 800 years. Uh, I need a bomb. I need a bomb. Oh, crap. The door wasn't open, and that caused problems. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I blew myself up. Can one of you guys go hold the door open for me while I pick up the bomb and... Oh! God! Okay. Oh, I, I already went through all of that. Alright, so that's done. How am I doing on this titanium alloy? I mean... That's what I'm looking for, I think. Six out of uh, six out of ten. And I still need another memory alloy. Have I been through here already? Oh! Hey, there's... I have not been through here. Hey, come back. I want to poke you with my stick. Give me the stuff. There's not a way for me to buy this shit, is there? <laughs> Damn farming. This is why I quit playing MMOs. Because of all the farming that happens. Being able to buy it all would make it too easy? I, I mean, I disagree. It's already easy, it's just annoying. <laughs> MMOs kind of have less farming now. Maybe, kind of. They... I don't know. The MMO genre kind of died out, didn't it? World of Warcraft just had a little bit of resurgence because of the, the WoW Classic stuff. But I feel like MMOs are not very popular anymore. I mean... Okay, FF14. Yeah, that's true. FF14 has 19 million users? Really? 
That is news to me. That is a lot. That's a lot. That's more than... Isn't that... That's more than, uh, than WoW had back in its heyday. And I thought WoW was like the gold standard for MMO success. Ow, ow, ow. There's a lot of bombs. And I don't know why. I'm not seeing much that I need to break, break up. It seems we have been shut in. Yeah, this, this whole thing was a lot harder when I couldn't one-shot everything. And I made more bombs happen. Why is there so much of this? Ultima Online was my first MMO too, Dustin. But I played it before we played it together. Back in, like, middle school. Like, seventh grade or something. And then I got really into MMOs in general. And I played, like, every one of them I could find. I got into one called The Fourth Coming for a little bit. Uh, which was basically just an Ultima Online clone. Um, and I tried about, I don't know, 20, 30 others. Guild Wars I got way into for a hot second. Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, am I on B2? I thought I was on B1 already. Yeah, we played a lot of the beta, Dustin, and then I uh, of Guild Wars, and then and then I I kept playing after that because I got into a that that was my first foray into actually playing with a serious. Oh, I was on B2. That's right. I need to find that damn stairwell thingy so I can go fight the big boss again and get my damn memory alloy back. Um Yeah, that was that was my first foray into playing MMOs with a guild instead of just kind of soloing my way through. It seems we have been shut in. Hey, come back here while, so I can poke you with my stick! Why does it keep happening? And then... I think I left Guild Wars for Star Wars Galaxies. I think. I can't remember. I don't know, I played a lot of MMOs back in the day. I, I'm starting to doubt that we're gonna find all of this stuff. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm about to go. <laughs> Whew! We come through here already. Probably. Where's the map? What's going on here? Oh, I haven't done the minecart yet. That's what I did different. Okay, I just need to go do the minecart and then I go fight the boss. Am I lost? I'm lost again. I'm real bad at directions. Uh, okay. This way. Yeah, I'm I'm really like looking at the clock. This is this is just a farming stream, is this what this is? I <laughs> I thought I thought we'd uh have time to get all of the 
alloys we needed and then go cash it in and talk to Popola. Not so much. I'm gonna try shooting my way through this time. Break them all. Break them all down. Blam, blam, blam. What do I think of Ruby so far? Well, I'm pretty early on. And, uh... Honestly, it there's there's only a little bit of new new cinematic stuff. All the gameplay is the same, just way easier because I've I've I'm level 29 or something. Uh But I I also it's also been like 3 years, so it's all it all feels new to me. Because I don't remember anything from the first time around. Um. Ow! Stop shocking me, meanie. Do not appreciate your affection. Um, but I, I do, I mean, I love the near universe. I love everything about it, so I'm, I'm really stoked to finally have a chance to get back to it. This is the fight I was looking for. It seems we have been shut in. Ow! You hit me without even hitting me! Oh dear. This is gonna hurt. God! <laughs> Killed it. That's titanium alloy. Damn it. I mean, that's great because I still need that, but where's the memory alloy? That was the one place to get the memory alloy from. Ah, oh, man. He did what? Oh. We're talking about... Hold on. Give me this quest. What's going on here? We still don't have the memory alloy back. Ah! I hate this quest. We've been through the whole junk heap. And we went through most of it once before this. No, I didn't goof. I just I gave up the memory alloy for the main quest, which was obviously more important than the side quest. And now I'm coming back through for the side quest. And I don't know. It seems we have been shut in. I can do this fight again? Or is this a different fight? Or is it just... I don't know. This is weird. Ow! Don't you... You put those things away. I yeah 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 yeah. 
What are you shooting at, Emil? Is this the way? This is the way. Uh. Hmm. Ow. Ow. Hold on. Where's the damn map? This is not even the full map. I'm, I'm so confused. I didn't break through any of these barrier thingies the first time through here, and that made the whole junk heap a lot shorter. And now I'm seeing all these barriers, and I'm like, oh, I know how to get through that now, but I know that's not how I get out, because I got out by not breaking through any of them. Professor Fry's is stealing G from me. You dick. Uh. So that was the big fight. What's down here? Is this my way out? Oh, this is my way out. It seems we have been shut in. None of these have the alloys I'm looking for. And I'm frustrated. Everybody's trying to steal G from me. Rude. Is this my way out? Thank Linda for this. Yeah, Linda's always trying to steal my G. Linda won a round of Gladi Aliens, my card game, on uh, Board and Barrel yesterday. I don't have the I don't have the highlight cut together for that yet. But uh, yeah, we did a we did a weird board and barrel episode yesterday. Just uh, me, Dustin, and Eric Reichert. where we played on Tabletop Simulator a couple couple games that Dustin and myself designed which was fun we got some viewers in to join us for Gladi Aliens my game and it got down to Linda and me and Linda beat me Isn't there supposed to be a fight here? What happened to this big boss? I just haven't gotten to it yet? Okay. Oh, that's right. I didn't give you G. I forgot about it, Linda. Here, I'll do it right now while I'm thinking about it. Give Linda Von Re 200G for beating me. Also, I said I would give. I said I would give some to Razorak as well, whose name in Twitch was the other spelling, Kurazar. 
give Kurazar 50. There. Now you have been rewarded for playing with us and beating me. Okay, so I've been through twice. And, uh... I still don't have the memory alloy for this stupid side quest. And I'm still missing three titanium alloy. Do I bother going back in? I mean, I feel like at this point I gotta get it, right? I've been, I've been working at it for an hour and a half. Gonna have to be quick about it. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna go all the way through again. I'm just gonna come in and do what I can and get to a, and then come back out, get to a save point. I feel like my drop rates were better before I put the drop rate <laughs> words on the weapons and stuff. Maybe, oh, maybe it was just that I already had some. Maybe that was the difference. Being asleep up there. Get up there. What's this do? Oh, yeah, there's, there's nothing up there. There's one tiny little fight. I want to give a big shout-out to Minister of Gundam who on yesterday's broadcast just hurled a, a total of, I think, over 2,000 bits at me uh, in addition to subscribing to the channel. Greetings, Professor. I really appreciate that. Hey, Bunny Tails, welcome to Hacker Clan. I appreciate the subscription. Hey, those things blow up after you kill them. Did you know that? Apparently, uh, Lover94 thinks that Linda Von Rhee is Jeremy Lee, <laughs> the voice of A2. Uh, not the same person. <laughs> I poke him with my stick, and I don't get my alloys. I'm still not getting it. Oh. 11.40. The only reason I'm still doing this is because I don't want to spend any time look at working on it tomorrow. I want to get back to the story tomorrow if I can. But I feel like I've committed so much time just grinding today that I should keep at it until I why does that keep happening I need to swap to a different controller I think this one's busted 
I have like six PS3 controllers for reasons unknown. I don't know. I don't think I'm hitting the D-pad at all, Emil. I yeah, I know that that's the button I'm that that keeps happening, but I'm not going anywhere near it, really. Anywhere near it. Ha. It seems we have been shut in. Oh, come on! My stick just went through him. Streaming yourself grinding in game is basically just hangout time. Yeah, it is. It seems we should be. We have been shut in. You gotta wait for him to come out of the. That's that's what it is. They gotta come out of the thing before you can hit him. All right, fine. You guys can have that one. I'll kill this one. And no titanium alloy. I got a mysterious switch, though. Oh, guys, quit stealing my G. It seems you can't carry broken antenna anymore. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. I can't carry any of this crap anymore. Broken antennas, dented metal bolts, stripped bolts. Hey, I got a titanium alloy. All right, that's good. So how am I doing here? <sighs> Eight out of 10 titanium alloy, and I still need another memory alloy. <sighs> Where am I? End of the line. Oh, this is the, I, I went through the first floor again. I should have gone straight to the basement, tried to get to the, the mini boss. Let's go do that. See if we can get another memory alloy. There's so much crap that I couldn't pick up that it's still ticking along the bottom of the screen. <laughs> By now I'm starting to understand the junk heaps layout because it's our third time through today. <laughs> Kaine Naruto runs. <laughs> All right, B2. Ah. Sometimes a girl just got a Naruto run. It seems we've been shut in. Obtained broken antenna, but you can't carry anymore. Oh, there's more. There's more guys to fight. They just took a second to show up. So many broken antennas. I'm 
Let's go rush over to the big fight. We'll go do that. Antennae. Antennae. That's how that's supposed to be pronounced, I think. Antennae. I remember getting a note on that on an audiobook. Because I thought it was antennae. It's not. And I remember having to fight fight over that with uh, with a dubbing director. I can't remember who it was, but the word came up. I think it was in a dub. Maybe it was in a video game. Anyway, it was some some other voiceover session where the director thought it was antennae, and I was like, no, it's actually antennae. He was like, mm, let's get it both ways. So I don't know which which one they used it used. Hopefully the right one. Hopefully they checked and weren't just humoring me on recording it. Antennae. Eh. Eh. I'm just gonna pop bubbles. Mash my square button. I remember this being hell the first time through. This minecart section. Do I have a favorite audiobook? I do. My favorite is uh, Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane. It is a reimagining of Romeo and Juliet that is very faithful to Shakespeare's work and yet adds to it in such a way that, that makes the story so much better. I hate Romeo and Juliet. I love Rachel Kane's version of it. Uh, so I, I highly recommend that one. Um, and if you're into the nerdy stuff, I am a big fan of Drew Hayes's superpowers series, which I, I swear I didn't touch that D-pad. Uh, Superpowered set a record for me, a personal record for me, and I know I didn't touch it that time. Um, a personal record for me with the, the longest individual audiobook. I think it came in at 40, the, 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 the last book in the series ran total runtime of 41 hours or something like that um and the series as a whole i i looked i got i got crazy and looked up on audible uh did i just miss the rare drop it looked like it faded away right as i got to it Are you friggin' kidding me how does that... Why would it go away so fast? Oh, that's so aggravating. What is the point of this existence? <laughs> it, it went away so fast. I had just killed the thing. I'm out of here. I'd, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> um, so what was I saying? Uh, so, so, oh yeah, so I looked up, uh, the longest titles on Audible, and I did the math on the entirety of the Superpowered series, and in the sci-fi and fantasy category... If you did a, if they had done a compilation release of all four of the main books in the series, there's also one spinoff, not even including the spinoff, just the four main books. If they had done a compilation release, it would have been the longest sci-fi and fantasy title 
on Audible. Uh, and I think including the spinoff, a compilation would have been the third longest title on all of Audible. Uh, and I think it was second only to the Bible. I, I think. Oh no, it beat the Bible. It was second to... I can't remember. A couple other things. Anyway. So it was a really long series. But it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, that that series it's it's basic I kind of describe it as like Harry Potter the college years if it were superheroes instead of wizards got a lot of really great characters in it and some good storytelling as well Drew Hayes does good work um and then, uh, there's also, I did a lot of sci-fi and fantasy stuff as, as a, as an audiobook narrator. There's one by Michael Grant, a series called Gone, that was pretty cool. Um, and there's one... Uh, called Station Breaker by Andrew Main that I thought was a pretty good sci-fi piece. Um, I also liked Proxima by by Stephen is it Baxter? It's up there. Yeah, Stephen Baxter. Proxima and Ultima. It was two parts of a three-part series that I never got to see the end of. But anyway. Uh, that that's a few audiobook recommendations. Those are those some of the ones I liked working on. There were a lot of others. Those those were some of my favorites. All right, I'm I'm f B one. What? How did I get back here? Oh, I'm supposed to drop down the. That's right. Did I save? I saved. I'm gonna leave first. I'm getting out of here. I'm over this quest now. Really, like... I did a whole nother run and got... Did I even get one titanium alloy? I don't think I did. I think I got nothing from that run. Maybe one. Maybe one titanium alloy. I got zero, says Emil. Yeah. Screw this. I'm out of here. <laughs> Forget this quest. I also had a drop that just disappeared on me before I got to it. Dumb. Near is the hot new <laughs> Korean MMO, basically, Emil. Uh. All right, I'm going to come over and save at the, the save box over here. I'm going to switch controllers for tomorrow's stream. Uh, I'm going to save here. And we're going to continue on with the story tomorrow at, uh, at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So that'll be 7 o'clock on the East Coast. So hopefully that uh, that's a relatively decent time frame for some of you guys in the States. And... Uh, not too terribly late. Maybe it's early. I don't know. Anyway, 4 p.m. tomorrow is when we're going to continue, regardless of your schedule. I, I'm sorry if it doesn't work for you, but it works for me. 4 o'clock tomorrow, we will continue with more original Nier. Uh, it'll be a little bit longer stream than today's was, because this, this was kind of just a taste, kind of a teaser. It'll be 1 a.m. in Europe. Okay, so that's better than 7 o'clock my time. That's only slightly better. Yeah, these afternoon and early and early streams are probably the best ones for for most time zones, but that's all that only works on the weekends. Uh, so anyway, 
tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time, we'll do some more original near story. We'll we'll get into that uh, forest of memory audiobook stuff um, after we go talk to Popola, since that's what we said we'd do. And uh, and uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Is uh, more near tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love hanging out with all of you. Uh, and I hope to see you all tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Bye-bye!